Hi everybody, it's Monica with American English with Monica. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for studying English with me and thank you for participating in these phrasal verb videos. Today's phrasal verb is figure out. Figure out. This is such a good phrasal verb and this was a request from you. So thank you. Thank you for the comments and questions and requests that you're typing on YouTube because I love reading them. I try to answer everyone and uh, it helps me. It helps me figure out how to be a better teacher for you and what kinds of things I can add to my videos. So thank you. This is such a great phrasal verb and there are two slightly different meanings I want to go over. First, I will tell you that um, this phrasal verb, figure out, can be separated. Figure it out. Figure something out. Some phrasal verbs we cannot separate, but this one you can every time. Okay? So when we figure out something, we solve it. We solve it. So to solve a problem, to solve a puzzle, to solve um, a big question we've been trying to figure out. So often in the like English textbooks, it says figure out means to solve a puzzle. Like she had a lot of math, uh, her math homework, right? She had a lot of math homework and she had to figure out many equations. Or my mother likes to play games and tries to figure out the solutions and the answers to the games. That is one definition, right? When we're trying to solve a puzzle or the police are trying to figure out who committed the crime. They're trying to solve it. But figure out is more often used as a way to just say we're thinking of something. I'm trying to think of new ideas. I'm trying to figure out some new ideas. That's a really common way that we use this phrasal verb in America. So it doesn't have to be a problem that you're trying to solve. It can be just some new ideas you're trying to think of. To think of an idea. For example, um, I have some free time this weekend. I want to do something fun. I'm trying to figure out what to do. Right? It's not a problem. I'm just trying to think of new ideas. Let's figure out what we're going to cook for dinner. She can't figure out what to wear to the party. It just means we're trying to understand or find the answer or just think of an idea. We use it a lot. Um, I do want to tell you that <clears throat> we can also use it for people. If we're trying to solve the question, I'm trying to understand someone, I'm trying to figure out this person. I want to understand his behavior or his motive or his actions. Maybe it's a new colleague at work and we're trying to figure him out. He seems nice, but he's really quiet. And he's really smart, but he's not very social. We're trying to figure him out. We're just trying to understand him. Okay, this is an awesome phrasal verb. I'm really glad you asked. And like I said, we use it a lot for think of or brainstorm. To brainstorm is one of my favorite verbs in English. To brainstorm. Do you know that word? When you're trying to think of a lot of new creative ideas, use your imagination and try to figure out some new things, some new ideas. So I teach business English. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, if your manager says you need to figure out some ways to make the client happy, we need to figure out a new system for our data. This just means you're trying to solve it, work together, think of new ideas. Okay. 
Um, and sometimes a manager will use it when there is a problem, especially an interpersonal problem on the team. Like if their colleagues aren't getting along, the manager might say, you have to figure it out. Solve the problem, right? Do you have any examples of something you have figured out? Maybe something you haven't figured out, right? I'm not really good at technology. So there are a lot of things on my computer or my phone that I haven't figured out yet. Eh, I'm an online teacher, but technology still confuses me sometimes. That's okay. All right, let me know if you have any questions, comments, or requests for other videos. If you haven't seen any other phrasal verb videos, I encourage you to go back and watch them. Every week, every Friday, there'll be a new video published. And so far it's going well. Many of you have asked me if we can do a live YouTube lesson. I'd love to do that. That would be awesome. Um, and we'll do that when we get to 1,000. 1,000 subscribers. I'll do a live video lesson for you. Okay? So share. Share my videos with your colleagues and friends and other English learners. And I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.